This is the hay we baled yesterday. Some of it is going to stay in dry form because it dried really well. It's mostly grasses. But the hay in another field we brought into the yard this morning because it's got a little bit of alfalfa in it and it's going to be harder to keep from molding. So we're going to wrap it up in plastic so that it stays fresh for quite a while. It's June 1st. Uh, it's not normal that we are cutting hay this early, but we had a lot of rain in April, I guess. Well, not a lot, but we had a week of straight rain, which helped the grass grow a little quicker than normal. So, uh, the, and then since then, we haven't had any rain at all. So the hay got about two to almost three feet tall. And then now it stopped growing because we're in a bit of a drought. So the weather was good, so we decided to cut it. We actually would manage to make a whole bunch of dry hay this uh, early, which is unheard of for this area. But uh, this hay here, it has a little bit of alfalfa in it, and the young tender alfalfa won't dry as much as we'd like, so it would, it would mold. So what we do is we wrap it. Now, to some people that might look like really dry hay, but when you feel it, it's cool to the touch, which usually means it could be acting up in the middle. So to be on the safe side, because this is really good quality hay with not too many seed heads in it. So a friend dropped by today and he said he wanted to play with our wrapper. So we have an individual wrapper and we chose that because doing the long tube wraps it costs you a little less in plastic. It also means you have to place them in lines in your fields and in the winter time or bad weather that can turn into a mucky soup hole which we don't like working in so we figure for an extra little bit of money get the individual bales which arnie can then stack around the yard for easy access to the barns and feeding the sheep so you can see there he's uh, already got a whole bunch stacked and Brad here is using our baler, wrapper, sorry. And we do, I think it's uh, two entire revolutions. So once it's covered entirely once, then he'll go around one more time to give it a final seal. It's plastic uh, wrap and it's like a saran wrap that you put on your food and it keeps it good for, uh, it'll be, it'll last good probably till next April and then even in the wrap it'll start to go mucky so you do have to feed it up. And this is an individual bale wrapper like I said and we have the option to bale in the fields if we want or if we want to bring all the hay home first we can also wrap it home ideally we like to wrap it home because when you load wrap bales you can sometimes break that seal which you don't want to happen see and it just loads off normally arnie does this by himself so it was a great bonus that brad dropped by he's a future sheep farmer in training and that's what we go we got a whole field back there ready to go today too but that's just a little bit on how the wrapping goes there you see that's he just scooped that up with the arm and it plops in and off it goes more later. <laughs>